Welcome to On The Couch, a regular catch-up where we discuss the issues facing media, marketing and advertising and hopefully provide some solutions. Today on The Couch, I'm joined by Jane Ratcliffe, who is the Managing Director of SMI Australia and New Zealand, actually Standard Media Index. Standard. Welcome, Jane. Thanks, Darren. Um, Jane, I remember when you were the respected industry journalist on The Australian and then suddenly you're the Managing Director of SMI. What, was, what triggered that change? Um, I suppose there was a need to be able to provide better ad spend data that we could see or as a journalist it was a constant frustration that we could never see or I could never see what was actually going on in the market from a revenue perspective, so an advertising revenue perspective. And obviously, you know, I was a business journalist. My task was to try and work out how companies were performing and revenue is clearly, it's just, you know, revenue minus costs equals profit, hopefully. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and so knowing the revenue was critical and there was no way of doing that. And so what I used to do is ring all the media agencies and you know, they had the best view of how each individual media and maybe media companies themselves were performing and uh, that's kind of how we came to create SMI. I remember it was, uh, it was quite a revolution because you know, people had thought that competitive advertising spend was sort of covered by you know, the likes of Nielsen and that type. But uh, this actually gets a lot deeper, doesn't it? Yes, we can see for the first time um, the total spend across each media, each media sector. And in recent years, we've really developed the data to go into ad format uh, spend as well. So particularly important within digital to be able to see online video ad spend, for example. And more recently, with the growth in outdoor, we've been able to show the spend split between digital outdoor and static outdoor. So being able to drill down into that sort of level of detail has been a challenge up to now, hasn't it? Yeah, me many methodologies do not enable you to be able to do that at all. You know? Right. It, it's, it's very hard. So what, uh, on that basis, what do you think has been the most interesting trend over the time that SMI has been looking at this? We started in 2009 and, and at that time, Digital was only 2% of the spend. So, you know, in the 10 years that we've been reporting the data, there's been a, a complete structural change within the media industry. So, you know, now digital is at 26% of all agencies or national marketer spend. Um, so that's a, a massive shift. Yeah. And, you know, it's interesting as well to be able to see how even that digital spend is changing. You know, programmatic has stopped growing certainly okay. to the degree it was. Um, social's still growing. Search has, you know, been up and down. It's, it's up again at the moment, but it's not true to say that marketers are constantly enamoured with search. You know, it, it fluctuates. Yeah. Um, and we track all of that. Now, you know, obviously the most visible thing people would see is the sort of monthly statements that uh, come from SMI that mm. will be reported in the trade media. Mm. But specifically, how are people using the data that you make available? Well, it's to gain knowledge and to use that to inform sales conversations and sales strategy. We see the market's worth $7.5 billion, like just for national marketer or agency ad spend. And before SMI, people just kind of placed it where they thought it should go, you know, without much data or knowledge, like real knowledge, to be able to back it up. Everyone just used their gut feel and years of experience and anecdotal evidence to try and work out what was the best thing to do. Uh, now, marketers can A, see how the market is performing each month. They can see which are the strongest and least performing media. Mm -hmm. um, but more importantly, from an advertiser perspective, it's being able to see what's happening within your own category. Right. And it's incredible. Like every, we report on 126 product categories now. Everything you know, from skincare to wagering companies to department stores or chemists or, or whatever. Um, and everyone is different. You know, 
every little category has its own idiosyncrasies as to what it's doing. You know, even when you look at a, a broad category like retail and then look at the categories beneath it, like you know, department stores or supermarkets or, or whatever, there's no consistency. Right. It's all, they're always doing something different. Either someone's growing their TV, someone's reducing their outdoor, someone's growing their digital. It's amazing to be able to see the complexity and, and how actually ununiform the decision-making process well, is. Well, complex. I mean, it's incredibly complex, complex because there's yeah. so many moving parts. So many moving parts. But I saw recently um, the part of your reporting was mm -hmm. that digital is either slowing down or starting to, uh, yeah, to it's, recede. It's definitely what is so. the future then? If you can predict from past behaviour, what would you say is happening? I think there's a few key things that have to happen there. You know, I reckon personally, I think the seismic administration is a big thing because what happens to their ad serving? Yeah. And therefore, what happens to the industry's ad serving? Does Google become the only ad server? Yeah, mm. That's a really interesting situation because you know, it goes to data retention and what data they have over everyone. You know? Yes, yeah. Um, and well, it, it positions them more of a monopoly than they are already. Yeah, and, you know, are advertisers comfortable with that? I don't know the answer to that, but, you know, I think that's a really, really interesting question. And, you know, the other interesting question is programmatic mm. and what's going to happen there. And I suppose the seismic thing kind of feeds into that. But will it continue to grow? You know, it was crazy, I think, a few years ago, you know, people were saying, oh, programmatic's going to overtake the world. And, you know, I suppose given the growth rates at the time, you might have expected that. Um, but there's always going to be a place for radio, outdoor, press, magazines, Absolutely. television, whatever. So, you know, that doesn't change. So where will programmatic end up? You know, it's at about 19% of digital spend now. Will it get to 25? You yeah. know, how will that impact on everything else? You know, will um, marketers realise the benefit of buying on premium content sites? Mm. I Oh, private should. markets and things like that. Yeah. yeah, you know, how will that change thing? You know, mm. but will value go to the sites that arguably um, are, are more premium? Mm. You know, then there's the whole social media phenomena, which is a whole separate thing again. Yeah. And, you yeah, know, that's still growing. You know, then you've got Bevod. You know, there's lot, so, lot there's so much parts. happening. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Well, thanks for sharing that, Jane. And thanks for joining us on the couch. Thanks, Dan. And thank you for joining us on The Couch. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for more On The Couch coming very soon.